Welcome back to Earth from Space. Sardegna, the second largest island in the Mediterranean Sea, is featured in this false color image captured by the Copernicus Sentinel-2 mission. Sardegna, or Sardegna in Italian, is situated between the Mediterranean Sea to the west and south and the Tyranian Sea to the east. The island sits 200 kilometers west of the Italian peninsula and around 12 kilometers south of the French island of Corsica, partially visible at the top. This week's image, which uses data from October 2019, has been processed using the shortwave infrared band and the near infrared band to highlight dense vegetation. Crops and vegetation appear in bright green in the image, while bare soil can be seen in various shades of orange and brown. Grasslands and croplands with the higher moisture content appear more vibrant in the image. As water is a strong absorber of infrared, inland water bodies are delineated and could be easily spotted in black. Much of Sardegna's arable land is devoted to cereal cultivation and fruit growing. Sardegna is a mainly mountainous region, with its highest point, Mount La Marmora, in the Genargento Massif, visible in the center right of the image. With over 1,800 kilometers of coastline, Sardegna is internationally renowned for its beaches, including those along the Emerald Coast, or Costa Smeralda, Alghero, and Villazimius. The coasts, particularly in the east, are high and rocky, with long stretches of coastline with bays, inlets, and various smaller islands located just off the coast. The archipelago of La Maddalena can be seen in the top right of the image. The archipelago includes the renowned islands of La Maddalena, Caprera, and Santo Stefano, and are known for their pristine beaches and wild beauty. Cagliari, the island's capital and largest city, lies on the southern coast of the island. Sentinel-2 was designed to provide images that could be used to distinguish between different crop types, as well as data on numerous plant indices, such as leaf area index, leaf chlorophyll content, and leaf water content, all of which are essential to accurately monitor plant growth.